It's a beautiful two-year-old little girl who was recently diagnosed with a rare disorder known as San Filippo syndrome or child Alzheimer's. Now her family is fighting to find a cure for her and have her around for many, many more years to come. Uh, like I said, joining us this morning is her mom. Morgan, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Yes, of course. I understand this diagnosis came through a TikTok video. Mm -hmm. Walk us through what happened. So Lydia was born perfect baby, perfect pregnancy. I had no uh, any alarms about anything. She was so full of joy, still is. So 18 months old, this past April, my mom sent me a TikTok video of a little girl mm -hmm. that could have been my daughter's twin. And in the video, I see San Filippo syndrome, terminal illness, and then I see symptoms that went along with it. So I started doing my research mm -hmm. and I thought my daughter could possibly have this. Okay. So, so. you took her to the doctor and you got a diagnosis on mm -hmm. that and I imagine your world came crashing down. Yes. What were you feeling whenever the doctor told you this is certain now, this is what she has? So um, when I took it to the doctor, I showed him the TikTok, I showed him the side by side pictures and he basically told me he had never seen anyone with it and he was even shocked I was asking him that mm -hmm. and he said that he was going to have to go do, re do the research himself. So he left the room and came back 15 minutes later and told me, I can't come back in here until you know she doesn't have it, mm -hmm. but children come here all the time with ear infections, they don't sleep through the night, the distended just belly, normal baby just stuff. normal baby stuff. And so he ordered me, um, I told him I needed to roll it out so I could sleep at night. Okay. And so he ordered me the blood test and the urine test and we came in Shreveport to Willis Knighton to do the testing. A week later, I was sitting in my mom's living room and uh, I pulled up the patient portal and it had abnormal and I click on it and it was positive. So it was a gut punch in the stomach and I was in denial and I was like, how does my child have a terminal sure. illness when I thought she was healthy this whole entire time? Absolutely, so now she has this diagnosis. Uh, Morgan, where do you guys go from here? What does this mean for Lydia? So after I found out, my mom told me, I don't look as this is terminal you have to get out there and be her voice because my mom had done her research before she even sent it to me mm -hmm. and that there are treatments out there. There are treatments and clinical trials that are working. So Lydia's body is missing an enzyme that is needed to break down a sugar molecule called heparin sulfate, which is a toxic waste. So it'll build up in her body and it'll eventually cause brain damage. Right now, Lydia is your full average of joy, two average two year old <laughs> child and she is such our joy but she has a year or two until the brain damage begins. It usually occurs around three or four years old and because of that toxic waste split up, it'll cause the brain damage. So I have that time frame to get her into a clinical trial with treatments that are working mm -hmm. to decrease that toxic waste split up that causes the brain damage. Absolutely, and to be able to do that, uh, you need some funds to be able to do that, yes. some money, Morgan. That is why mm -hmm. you're here today. Mm -hmm. We want everyone watching us this morning, you want to reach as many people as possible to donate mm -hmm. to your daughter. I hope it lands in the hands of the right person, people, and can help me raise awareness and that treatments and get her the funding for the treatments that could save her life. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us a little bit about Lydia. What are some of her favorite things to do? Her favorite thing to do, it's funny, is she loves chasing her chickens. We have two chickens at our house and she <laughs> loves going to chase her chickens outside. She loves riding her little tractor, which y'all can see in our little video on the GoFundMe. Yes. Um, with the Save Lydia, there's a three minute video on there and it just shows how of much of a joy Lydia is to us. and our why and why we're trying to save her. And sure. I think as a mother, I feel helpless because I know that there are treatments out there that are working that could help her and I just can't get to them because of funding. You will, so, you will and we believe so that you will. So I have hope and I am the yes. voice like my mom told me to be and I'm being that voice and that fighter to try to save her because I feel like that's my calling. And it's not just Lydia, it's the hundreds of children out there that are with this disease. Yeah. And I feel like I, I'm a part of their being their voice to get them the care and Absolutely. the help that they need. You're her mama. I'm her mama. Morgan, thank you so much for being with us this morning. <laughs> From one mom to another, <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you being so brave. And we are going to get Lydia the help that she needs. And uh, she will be around for many more years to come. Don't you yes. worry about that. All right, guys, stick around. We're going to be right back. <laughs>